the original idea for that was to to create a, a series of mini mini dramas about about six different machines. It'll be a helicopter, a tugboat, a fire engine, cement mixer, and each story is played out across three different spreads. The first page essentially is an introduction to the machine, and then the second one you're presented with a problem. Now when I work on a book like that, it's really hard for me to visualize it because it's a fold-out book, and so I had to create something called a dummy. And this is an example of, of a, a late version of the dummy because I was working on a lot of the color illustrations for this. I, I make it this small because I really want to have it uh, like uh, handy and, and I like I like I like the feeling of it when it's small. I think this should, this should be a, appear on eBay somewhere. <laughs> anyway, but but the reason why I had to make the actual dummy was because a fold out book doesn't work unless you actually fold out the pages. So I'm just going to show an example of one. In this one, you see you have the backhoe backing up into a garden, and you see that just the beginnings of the flowers here, and it reads. A backhoe pulls up to the flowering garden. And then it reads that the backhoe is digging a big hole and, and it's, it's something to the effect of, oh no, are they going to take the flowers away? So now the left-hand page is actually going to be the same. It's the right-hand page that will open up to reveal the surprise. Then when you open it up, you realize that it's not taking away the flowers. It's actually digging a hole for these new crab apple trees. And then the story reads, hooray, the flowers are safe. So it's really the whole idea. If you have a machine, you have a problem, then you have a surprise. And it's just kind of a new thing for me. The whole idea about making a book into a fold-out book, it's sort of like each page, each story, is it, the book is hiding the, the secret. And I think that's really kind of neat. The main reason why I really wanted to do the machines right after Penn Station was because I wanted to try to find a, a good follow-up. And one night I would read old Penn Station to, to, to my son, Timmy, and after the book was done, and it ends very sadly because they tear down Penn Station, and Timmy says to me, Dad, why are your books always so serious? And I said, oh, well, I don't really mean to create only serious books, but I really just wanted to create artwork for books that I think are really interesting. I mean, I like funny books, but I just don't think I'm the right kind of artist for that. And Timmy goes, but Dad, you're really funny sometimes. So then I said, you know, gosh darn it, the next book is going to be fun. <laughs> and so my plan was to do something fun. And, um, and here we have machines. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's very, very different for me.